Pranith asks, any idea on the resolution of the following Aaron teams? Uh, it's happening in random users in the tenant. Research nothing found helpful till now. Uh, error messages. Sorry, your company policy prevents you from joining this call. Note, the affected users can join the meeting previously without any errors. Same error in all versions like web and mobile. So they are previously able to join a meeting. Now they're getting the, sorry, your company policy prevents you from joining this call. They got a new admin. <laughs> Who's been playing with the policies for teams? It's, it's they, clear there. Yeah, it's clear somebody's yeah. enacted a new policy of some sort that's keeping them from being able to join. So they need to reach out to their administrator and find out why. You know, that, or, those kinds of errors. This is where, random, you know, where, where, well, right, because uh, my first thought was exactly that was that I so where I had to, like, what is this unexplained error? It's impacting across a number of things. I could do things locally. What's changed here? And it's because somebody, the admin went and said, oh, these users, you know, they don't need this license type. We can put them under this license yep. type. So they changed that and it cut off all the back end services, all the, yep. the rest of the things that drive your work. So that would be the place I would start as well is go and look at the licenses for the individuals uh, and see if somebody has made a change. Well, and sometimes things that appear random to an end user are not random if you look at it from the admin perspective. So it might be a specific group. Maybe it's contractors and you don't realize who the contractors are. Maybe it's people in a certain department or, you know, especially in the larger the organization gets, the more kind of goofy those AD groups can get. Maybe they create a new policy to test it and they put it a test group in there and there was people still in the test group that are random. And so there's a, it appears random, but when you look on the back end in the administration center against the policy, you find that it truly isn't random. Right. Well, I'm wondering, this is kind of the on and off, you know, turn it on, turn it off again, maybe kick them out of the meeting, somebody who's in charge of that meeting, remove those people and add them back in and the new policies would apply if those policies have changed. So again, not having to go to the admin and try and fix it, can we try and fix it ourselves? We're, you know, taking them out, putting them back in might fix that, let them join as their new profile, whatever, and that might identify the error of It'd be another error that would say why they can't join the meeting. You can't do this because X, Y, Z. So. When you ask the admin and the admin says, I didn't change anything, ask the follow-up question of what new features have we enacted? <laughs> or you know, in addition to, to the licensing, uh, you know, the, there was a change to the, uh, what, telephony licensing or mm -hmm. the telephony capabilities not too long ago, did, did is that when it that is something changing in the license errors. itself around the feature set that may have impacted to Christian's point specific license holders, or even if they didn't change the license, it's perhaps that that feature changed for mm -hmm. that license set and they just didn't realize it. In this case, it's pretty clear because it says that it's a policy, but mm -hmm. it could be it could be a feature set. Right. Well, and Usually when remember, the error these message tools, says. Yeah. These tools evolve all the time. Microsoft changes things in the background and they can affect the settings. So like external access, that's something, are these people external users or internal users? Mm -hmm. And maybe their external access policy as it evolved and Microsoft True. has changed it, has now changed something for yeah. how they originally joined that meeting.